Teresa is a much-loved local legend. Running her little beachside kiosk for 14 years now, she knows everyone's name and their order. No one wants her gone, except maybe council. It's said to be looking for a better deal. It'd be just such a, a crying shame to see them moved out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. A community of love, she calls it. I've been blessed to have this community. Best sandwiches in Port Melbourne. But she needs a fair go. Doing everything it can to keep this tiny beachside kiosk just the way it is. She knows all the customers by name. And I just don't want to leave yet. For 14 years, Teresa Matarazzo has fed, looked after and befriended the people of Port Melbourne. Now they want to repay the favour as she faces an uncertain future. We want Teresa to stay. We wouldn't want to lose her. Teresa's a mum, a nonna and a hard worker who hoped to see out her career running Café de Lido. Well, we're not just a little kiosk. We offer lasagna, meatballs, eggplant parmigiana. The kiosk is a place where customers turn into mates. Prices barely budge and swimmers come and go like it's home. We'll have dropped our keys into her for safety and then you know, if we're out there for too long, she'll actually come looking for us. If the council uh, wants to change it, they don't know their ratepayers. But change could be brewing by the bay. The city of Port Phillip has decided to find out if there's a better option, putting the premises up for an expression of interest process for the first time in more than a decade. Maybe I've been here too long, I don't know. There's no answer. It's a tender process and it looks like they, they just want, want to, um, to push her out to get more money. Customer of eight years, Tony Jones, paid for and printed this sign to get the word out. She's a battler and she deserves to be allowed to live out the rest of her time where she's built a great little business. These customers are so passionate, they've started a petition, even written letters to council. Your egg, bacon, muffin won't be $6 at the end of this process. The ratepayers will be paying, you know, $16. Peter Ballion, president of the Port Melbourne Life Saving Club. When you've got somebody that's engaged so well with this local community as Theresa is, you, know, you can't, that's, that's worth more than just a few dollars difference in a lease agreement. The local swim club has about 120 members, like loyal local Trevor Kingsbury. Will the Port Melbourne Iceberg support a new cafe owner here? Oh, it'd be pretty doubtful, I think. I think we'd probably end up self-catering or something like that. I'm scared I might lose and I'm 65 years old. When am I going to go? Last year, Teresa received a letter in the mail, a standard rent review. A month later, she says she was blindsided with this. Another letter explaining her time could be up. Couldn't they ring me and say, well, come down, this is what we're going to do, Teresa? If her application is denied, Teresa must be gone by June 30. These people are my family. This place is my home. I don't want to leave. What a wonderful woman and fabulous community. The council says the contract must go to tender to ensure transparency and fairness. It has encouraged Teresa to apply.